My name is Tomioka Yoshihiro. I'm a 20-year-old university student living at home. And while I'm busy studying and working part-time, my stepsister suddenly came home with her child. Mizuki? What's wrong? I'm sorry I didn't contact you first. Yuka, say hello to Big Brother. Where is Dad? I told you, Dad went somewhere far away. That's a lie! Dad would never go away without telling me! That's true, but... Anyway, come on up, you two. Dad's at work, but Mom will be back from her part-time job soon. My stepsister's name is Mizuki Tomioka, 28 years old. She was the daughter of my father's best friend. But when her parents died in an accident, we took her in. Even though we weren't related by blood, we grew up together like a real family. Mizuki left home 8 years ago when she was 20 years old to get married. But then, my stepsister came back to her parents' house with her daughter. There's no way I could look after this girl who cries for her father. And my mother ended up taking care of her. I was in the living room listening to my stepsister's story. Your husband ran away? That's right. He left a letter behind saying goodbye. No way! Did you report to the police? Yeah, but I don't think he'll come back even if they find him. But I at least wanted him to go through the divorce procedures. Were things not going well with your husband? No, but we had Yuka. I didn't have the courage to break it off with him. Did you explain to Yuka? No. Hey, Mom! What, Yuka? Hurry up and call Dad. Mom, you were jealous that me and Dad were close, so you were hiding it, weren't you? Uh, that's not it. I'm in trouble too because your father is gone. That's a lie. I want to see my dad. Let's play with Grandma. Dad! Yuka's eight years old this year, right? Yeah. She really loved her dad, didn't she? Yes, she said she's fine as long as she and her dad didn't make friends, so she can't believe he just disappeared. I see. He didn't like Yuka, but... Really? He used to complain to me all this time. That was also the cause of our fights. Please don't tell Yuka about this. What? She really loves her father with all her heart. If she finds out that he hated her, it might break her heart. I understand. Even in seemingly happy families, there are things that are difficult. I knew that was common, but I never thought I'd be reminded of that by my family. A week later, until life settled down, my stepsister and my stepniece Yuka was going to live in my parents' house. It was also the middle of the long university vacation, so my mother and I took turns looking after Yuka. Where's mom? Is she with dad? No, it's not like that. But there are lots of procedures to go through, so it's a bit difficult. I want to see dad. Uh, it's hard to tell her that she'll be able to see him again. I can't believe it turns out that he doesn't like Yuka. Hmm? Dad, 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 dad! Whoa! She's kind of scary! Even though Yuka's only 8 years old, she seems like a little Yandari. Uh, uh... Yuka! What? Is there something you want me to do? I'll do anything! Anything? Yeah! Then pet my head like that. What? Hurry! Okay, how is it? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Maybe it's because you're an adult man. I see. That's good. I hope mom comes back with dad soon. Yeah, I hope they come back. I don't know if she saw her father in me, but Yuka started to open up to me. But then, three months later, her mother also disappeared. She left a letter saying, I'll definitely be back, so wait. Liar, why? It must be a surprise, but it says that she'll definitely be back. I want you to believe her. Big brother, you know something, don't you? What? Well... 
Mom went to see Dad by herself. Yuka. Why doesn't she take me with her too? Mom's so selfish seeing Dad all the time. Calm down, Yuka. I love Dad and Mom. Hey, big brother, am I a bad girl? You're a good girl. Then why did Dad and Mom go somewhere? I don't like it. I don't want to be alone. Yuka! Ah! She hugged me. Big brother. Yuka hugged me while shaking. I just gently snuggled up to her. Even when we're eating, Yuka wouldn't leave me. She didn't want to take a bath that day either, so she ended up sleeping with me. Take a bath with Grandma tomorrow, okay? It'll be okay if it's with her. Yeah. Hey, Yuka. I can't go into details, but your mom will definitely come back. What about Dad? I'm not so sure about your dad, but... I'm sad. Yuka. I'm sad. It's okay. I'll stay with you when your mom's not with you. Yeah. Yuka lost her parents at the age of eight. A time when children are most sensitive. I try to do everything to fill Yuka's loneliness every day. But ten years later, when I was 30 years old and became a working adult, I was still living at home, and in my bed I was regretting the fact that I had filled Yuka's loneliness too much. I never thought that an 18-year-old high school student would be begging to sleep next to her from in the morning. Good morning, big brother. No, it's not good morning. What are you doing sneaking into my bed? You don't do it at all recently. The last time was on the day of my 6th grade graduation. It's not right. You're 18 and I'm 30. There's problems with that societally. If the world blocks our love, I'll destroy the world. <laughs> Don't say such dangerous things on a refreshing morning. It's just you and me in the new world. In other words, we're Adam and Eve. I knew she was a dependent girl from when she was a child, but I never thought she'd grow up to be such a Yandari. I guess I spoiled her too much. Big brother, let's get ready to go to work. I hope you get changed. I can do it myself, so please leave the room. Even though we're not related by blood, my stepniece appeals aggressively. It made me consider living on my own to keep my distance from her. But if she were to barge into my house, it would be worse than living at home. So I'm still living here. That night after work, I came straight home because I was scared of Yuka who kept sending me line messages. I opened the door to my house. I'm home! Welcome back, big brother. Do you want me? Or me? Or me? So there's no choice for a food or a bath, huh? So you want to take a bath with me? I'm ready anytime. Just take this. What? A present? A letter from your mom. Uh... It was in the mailbox. It's been a month since the last one. Every year you get about four or five letters. But recently, they seem to be arriving more often. I hate my mom. Yuka. She's living happily with Dad, isn't she? I don't care. I'm gonna live happily with my brother. Even though she says that, she always reads the letters and puts them away in her desk. I've never read it, though. What are you smiling about? I thought it was cute. Cute? Eh? What's wrong? You were thinking about other girls in front of me. I wasn't. What kind of a misunderstanding is that? I just thought you were cute. Really? Ah! <laughs> Brother and I are the best match. I'm gonna sleep next to you tonight. Don't hug me like that. I might have brought this on myself, but I was living my life accepting her feelings for me. One day, at a shopping district in the next prefecture, brought lots of fashionable goods from my brother. I'm gonna graduate from high school soon, and when I become an adult, we'll promise our vows for eternal love, huh? 
Well then, see you later. Yeah. What? Who's that? Phew, that was good. With this, things will be... What? Big Brother? Yuka! Who's that woman? She's a friend. A friend? Oh no. Will she believe me? No. Yuka's Yandere. She might do something crazy. I see. Okay. What? I'm going home. What? Okay. Yuka backed down easily, which was a surprise. But instead of feeling relieved, I felt uneasy. That night, I was sitting in my room feeling uneasy. Even when we were eating dinner at home, Yuka didn't even look me in the eye. I thought she would be jealous of me being with a woman, but... Big brother, can I come in? What? Yeah, sure. What? She's in her pajamas holding her pillow? Alright. Yuka? She went on my bed. Uh, Yuka? I'm lonely. What? I don't want you to go somewhere. Don't leave me alone. Yuka. Uh. I can't sleep next to you, but I'll hold your hand until you fall asleep. Forgive me with this. We'll always be together, right? Of course. When I said that, Yuka smiled gently and then, as if relieved, she fell asleep. A week later, I was in a private karaoke room, talking to the girl I'd met the week before. You two are completely in love. Stop teasing me. She's a high school student and I'm an old man. But she'll graduate soon. She's grown up. Yeah. I wonder if she'll meet me. It'll be okay. We've cleared up all the problems. I told you, didn't I? Hmm? What's with the scary voice? I told you we'd always be together. Right? Ah! Yuka, why are you here? I followed you because you sneaked out, even though you have me. Hey, who's that woman? Well, uh... I'll tell her, Yoshihiro. Yo... Yohi... Yoshihiro? You call my brother by first name? Seriously? Who are you? Wait... I was disguised so that you wouldn't recognize me, but it's no surprise you found out. Mom? It's been ten years. Yuka. I've seen you in photos, but you have really grown up. Uh, uh. It was the first time they had seen each other in a while. Yuka started to cry and hugged her mother, who she said she hated so much. After that, we explained the situation to Yuka. Dad disappeared after leaving Mom with a huge debt? That's right. I found out about it when I was sorting things out. I didn't want to drag you into a life of death repayment, and I was also scared that you would find out that your favorite father was like that. If you had known as a child, you might have lost faith in people. So sis decided to live apart. I was waiting for you to mature. I didn't expect it to drag on this long, though. But in the end, I just ran away from you. I'm sorry. That's not true. I was the one who ran away. The letter had your contact details, but I was too scared to find out why Dad really ran away so I didn't contact you. So what happened to the debt? Fortunately, we were able to pay off all the debt. And we also found your father. What? That was two years ago. From there, it was really tough, but I made him pay off all the debt. I see. Yuka, you want to see your father? You have the right to do that. You must have missed him. Um... It's up to you to decide. If you go to see him, I'll be there too. No, really? Yeah, if my dad was the kind of dad I loved, he would have come to see me now. Besides... Whoa! She crossed her arms. I'm not lonely now because I have Big Brother. 
You said you'd always be with me. That's true. That's like a proposal. Hey, sis. It's not like that. Why not? You said you get nervous when you meet Yuka. That's... Big brother, do you not want to? Ah, uh, fine. Yuka, let's get married. Ah! Uh... Getting married to Big Brother, getting married to Big Brother, getting married to Big Brother! <laughs> She's so excited. She's such a Yandere, it's kind of scary. So, at the same time as this reunion between parent and child after 10 years, we got married. After Yuka graduated from high school, we had our wedding ceremony right away. And we started living together in an apartment near my parents' house. The move is complete. Wow, it's so nice. It's our lovely nest. That way of putting it is a little embarrassing. But are you sure this bed was okay? Didn't you want a bigger one? I want to be close to you, big... I mean, kihei -sa. I see. Hey. Hmm? We can sleep next to each other every day from now on, big brother. <laughs>